right guys it's week 156 in the house of horror today i'm going to be reviewing some guy who kills people this did the festival rounds a couple of years back here in the uk and in other places it was also released on dvd and blu-ray last year um here in the uk i'm sure it, it's released over in the us as well it's directed by jack perez produced and written by ryan levin the cast kevin corrigan barry boswick the great karen black and lucy davis the synopsis on it is Meet Ken Boyd, small town lawn and comic book nerd, making ends meet by pushing a broom around a local ice cream parlour. Fresh out of the loony bin, where he spent years recovering from the horrific torture he suffered at the hands of the high school basketball jocks, Ken wants nothing more than just to be left alone. But when the lovely Stephanie comes into Ken's life and he is reunited with his estranged 11 year old daughter Amy, things seem to start looking up. Even his constantly disappointed mother and the town sheriff start to treat him with a little more respect. That is, until those very same jokes that Ken deems responsible for his ruined life start turning up dead. I saw this at Celluloid Screams a couple of years back and went into it knowing nothing about it. I hadn't heard anybody talk about it and seen no reviews about it, so I didn't know what we would get. What we did get though is a very well made horror comedy mixed with some light hearted drama. This has a cu couple of good plot twists to it um, that you may or may not see coming. The film has you rooting for Ken right from the be beginning even though people are starting to turn up dead and the finger is pointed and he's very mentally deranged. Um, you just feel for him he's coming to terms with his illness and through fatherhood you, you just feel for him from the beginning there's also a great and hilarious performance by barry boswick as the bumbling idiot town sheriff which must have been inspired by leslie nielsen he he just looks like leslie nielsen he acts like him i thought it was great this is the guy in the corner there um so yeah he, he did a very good job there was also a nice bit of gore in it. It's not overly gory, as you see, it's a 15 certificate. Um, and there's some decent kills in it as well. Overall, I think this is one of the better horror comedies of recent years, and is lots of fun. I'd highly recommend it as a good date movie, to be honest, um, with lots of popcorn and beer. Um, yeah, it's it's got dark comedic aspects to it, and it's also got a bit of slapstick comedic um traits to it so yeah it, it it's good it's it's a good little it's it's a feel good horror film if you know what i mean it's all it's hard to explain but yeah i would recommend it i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten and check it out as soon as you can and let me know what you thought thanks a lot guys i'll see you all next week